Well, here's an engine that I'm currently working on. This is, uh, this is an Alpha de Laval uh, LW model engine. I think they're about one and a half or two horsepower. It uh, was a milking machine at one point. Had a vacuum pump mounted on this side of the base, right there. Let me show the tag. I bought this last July in Jacktown. Soon, uh, you know, it was in bad shape when I got it. It did turn though, it, was, it wasn't seized. I just, I just, uh, I just got around to working on it about, uh, about three or four weeks ago. You know, on the, just on the weekends. I had to make a new needle valve for it. I, had, I haven't put a, you know, a actual uh, a knob on it yet, but it's just a 1032 brass screw that I've I've uh, milled the uh, tip down to the proper taper. Just had to clean out the gas and the oil tanks there in the base. This is the uh, fuel filler, and this is the uh, oil breather. Did the valves, pulled the piston, cleaned everything out. It wasn't really bad. It turns over pretty well now. It's got good compression. It's, uh, it is water cooled. That's what this big tank is here. Plans are for this one that I'm. Uh, I'm going to put this uh, generator that you saw in the other video. Well, uh, it was hooked up to the Model Y Briggs, but uh, I'm going to mount it right where the old vacuum pump used to be. I figure the generator has a max load of 300 watts, so, you know, if I load it up halfway, or even almost all the way, you know, two horsepower, one and a half, two horsepower should be able to do it. That Model Y is only a half, so and that was that was at full load when I had 150 watts on the generator. But this has a, uh, a you know a flyball governor on it, so it's more reliable than the, uh, the air vane governor that the Model Y has. Pretty neat engine. It's you know it's pretty heavy. It's it being you know it's all all iron and it's got the water jacket, so it's like you know it's double thickness really. Uh, the only thing left for the engine that I have to work on is the magneto, which is Wyco. There's part of it right here. That's, you know, I'll take a little take the rest of the day to get that going. I should have it running by the end of the day. Get a little adjustment screw for the spring tension on the uh, governor. I think uh interesting uh, thing is that you know the speed isn't labeled even though the tag has a spot for it. The generator needs 1700 rpm to uh you know produce 120 figure. This is, you know this engine's at least that. And uh, it had a fairly large pulley on it, about three or four inches in diameter, mounted on the shaft there. And so I should be able to get a good ratio going. If it's not the doesn't run at the exact RPM, it's all right.
So that's it for that one.